today's video I'll be showing you how the electric system works on uh, on any electric car so this one in particular is a Peugeot E2008 and what I'll be showing you is how to adjust the different modes how to increase the regenerative braking and also um, how to get the electric flow up so it'll show you pretty much where the power is coming from in terms of from the battery to the wheels and wheels to the battery so if you want to jump inside the car mm -hmm. So the um, the original screen will pretty much be on this dial setup and then the radio on that screen there. You can have it set up on either or screen. So if you press this end button here, that will bring up the charging solution on that um, on that screen there. Or you can select it on the 3D dashboard here, and then you just go to the energy system there, and then that will bring up the uh, the flow diagram. Obviously, they'll say exactly the same thing. Just depends on which one you which one you fancy as you're driving along in the car. So at the minute this car's got full battery, so you can see that from um, these little power cells there. So as the power cells get depleted, they'll obviously go down and down and down, and then so will your uh, range limit on the side there, similar to just a normal sort of fuel gauge. So as we're driving along, the power will be coming from the battery to the wheels. So you'll see the dynamo turning there, and you'll see the wheels going in a forward motion. And then every time you put your foot on the uh, ex uh, on the brake pedal, it will put power back from the wheels into the uh, into the battery. So it will do that every single time you press the brake pedal. You can also increase this with the regenerative uh, regenerative braking mode. So all you would need to do to that is when we put the car in drive, it will say on the side here it's ready and it's in drive. And all you do is simply just knock it back one more, and that will put it into the extra regen mode. You can do that before you start in the car, or you can do it as you're driving along. Really simple to do. You literally just tap it like that and it'll just change to whichever mode you want to. You can increase or decrease these effects with this different drive modes here. So as you go through, it will, sit, it will change on this screen here and on this screen there. Car starts in normal mode every single time you get in it. And then basically you've got three different settings. So an eco setting. So if you put it onto an eco mode, it does physically limit the performance of the car, um, increases the battery life, and it will decrease some of the thermal capabilities in the car, like the air conditioning as well. And then you'll just see it says uh, ready and then eco at the bottom there. So if you want the car to be in sort of the most economical mode, it's eco, and then you will put it into the regen mode. So this, every single time you not even put your foot on the brake, but take your foot off the accelerator, it will put um, energy back into the uh, back into the battery again. The normal mode is just the standard car, so exactly how it sets up uh, sets itself up normally. And then if you go down and put it into the uh, sport mode, it will um, basically every single time you put your foot on the accelerator, use the maximum horsepower, which on this one is um, is 136. So it'll use the maximum amount of power on the car all the time. Obviously, it makes it uh, makes it very very fast, but it will deplete the battery system more and more and more and more. So we'll get the car started and we'll just show you a quick way of how it works uh, actively on the uh, on the road. So as soon as you put your foot on the accelerator pedal it will just go off and you will uh, see there we're using the uh, using the power from the batteries and as soon as I put my foot on the brake pedal you'll see it stop. Um, And then as you slow down, you'll see it change again. So it's really easy to use. Like I said, whichever system that you uh, you have it on, the 3D screen or the uh, the normal nav screen, it will show it exactly the same. 